class 12 <clears throat> now we will learn do some number 25 from exercise 7 integration by parts some number 25 from exercise 7 in integral sin inverse x whole square dx okay what we will do uh, do here we will just put sin inverse x as z so put sin inverse x as z therefore x is equal to we know this is equals to sin z and sin inverse x equals to z means 1 by square root of 1 minus x square dx equals to dz okay therefore dx will be what square root of 1 minus x square dz and 1 minus x square means 1 minus sin square z means square root of 1 minus sin square z means Uh, cos square z under root, so it's coming only cos z dz. Okay, so instead of dx, we will put here cos z dz. Okay, therefore this is equals to integral sine inverse x whole square means z square. So z square and dx means cos z dz. So write here cos z dz. Now we will apply the UV rule, that is by parts rule. This is Algebraic function. This is trigonometric function. Algebraic function comes at first according to the Eilert rule. So it will be first function and t will be the second function. The trigonometric function will be taken as the second function. Okay. So z square we will consider as u function. So what we will write u integral cos z minus integral. u dx into integral cos z dz integral dz so z square integral cos z means only sin z so z square sin z minus d dz of z square means 2z integral cos z is again sin z so it's coming Now this part is again product rule. Okay, just take two uh, in uh, outside the integration sign. So z square sine z minus two integral z sine z dz. Okay, so it's coming z square sine z minus two. Same as before. This is the product rule. So z will will be taken as the u function and sine z will be taken as the v function. So u Integral minus integral into integral dz whole integral dz. Okay, put the bracket. So this is coming z square sine z minus two. This is z integral sine z. Integral sine z means minus cos z. So make it minus cos z minus integral. This is one. And integral sine z again is minus cos z. So this minus and this minus will be plus here. Okay. So it's coming z square sine z minus two minus z cos z. Plus integral cos z will be sin z <coughs> plus c. Okay, so it's coming z square sin z minus minus plus two z cos z minus two sin z plus c. Now put z and sin z cos z in terms of x. Only that will be the answer. Okay, z square. Z square means sine inverse x whole square, and sine z is x. So what we write x sine inverse x whole square plus two. Z means sine inverse x, and cos z sine z is x. Okay, and then cos z will be square root of. <coughs> Two square root of one minus six square, so it's better uh, write 
that term first. So 2 square root of 1 minus 6 square sin inverse x minus sin z is x so minus 2x plus c. This will be the answer. Okay. Coming with the next sum. Next sum number 26. Integrand part at first that evaluation of integrand part is very very important. Then you apply the product rule. Otherwise it will be difficult for you. What is given to us if we start with that then trouble will come. So to avoid the that type of trouble just evaluate that part first. Same sum, same type of sum uh, I am showing. The next sum, sum number 26, sine inverse 3x minus 4x cube. Look at the integral part. This is sine inverse 3x plus minus 4x cube. This, if we want to expand this part according to this rule also, we, then it will be difficult for us to evaluate this. So it will be better to, we know x equal to, we know sine 3 theta equals to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. This formula we know. So that is why if we put x equal to sine theta here, put x equal to sine theta, then what we will get? Therefore, 3x minus 4x cube, this part equals to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta, which gives us only sine 3 theta. Okay, then what we will get here? Sine inverse sine 3 theta. So, automatically according to the inverse rule, we will get this as only 3 theta. Okay, now x equal to sine theta means dx equals to cos theta d theta. Okay, then what we will get here? Therefore, integral sine inverse this equals to sine inverse sine 3 theta and dx equals to cos theta d theta. So, right here cos theta d theta. So, sine inverse sine 3 theta means only 3 theta. So, right here 3 integral theta cos theta d theta. Now, we will apply the UV rule. Okay. Understood, I think. This is the algebraic function. This is the trigonometry function. According to the islet rule, algebraic function will come at first and trigonometry function will come second function. So, this will be theta u integral cos theta okay so 3 theta integral cos theta integral cos theta is only sin theta minus integral this part is 1 integral cos theta is sin theta 3 sin theta minus integral sin theta equals to we know d dx or sin x is cos x so integral sin x minus cos x so this minus cos theta make it cos theta plus c okay same as before just theta and sin theta cos theta everything we have to uh, write in terms of x okay so theta sin theta uh, theta means we know theta equals to sin inverse x and sin theta equals to x, so better to write x sin inverse x plus sin theta equals to x, so cos theta is square root of 1 minus x square plus c. Okay. Next sum number 28. Sum number 28, it will take time, so it's better come with the next video. Coming.